Today I'm going to read you a story called Sofia Valdez, Future Prez by Andrea Beatty, illustrated by David Roberts. I have permission to read this story by Abrams Book Company. Sofia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. She and Abuelo went out every week to help elderly friends around Blue River Creek, who couldn't get out and about on their own, and with no place to gather, were stuck home alone. Raking the leaves, taking pets for a walk, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk. Sofia, Val Sofia Valdez did as much as she could for her family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real life go-getter. Most people look good, but Sofia liked better. Each morning, Abuelo walked Sofia to class. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans, munching cookies, Abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when Pup saw a squirrel. With a howl, Pup took off, racing off through the town, over, under, beneath, and around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollering man and the bellowing pup. Up the squirrel ran to the top of a hill made of leftover junk and the local landfill. They reached the top, tip top of that mountain of trash which jiggled and broke with an ear-splitting crash. Down they all tumbled and hit with a thud on a moldy old pumpkin surrounded by mud. Ouch, cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. A dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. The next day, Sophia walked to school solo, but it wasn't the same without her Abuelo. This is not right, declared young Sophia, who glared at Mount Trashmore and got an idea. The very next morning, at half past dawn, she planted a sign at the fan of her lawn. She stood back and smiled, and Pup gave a bark. Get rid of old Trashmore, let's build a new park. Each of the neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play. Meeting spots, gardens, a basket of bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought on her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect by a quarter till dark. She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed. Then bam, she woke up when a thought smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized each one of her neighbors had said, let me know when it's all done. They all thought Sophia could build it alone, but how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache as night thunder growled and she lay wide awake. Then dawn brought a storm and the gloomy sky wept and the heart sick Sophia finally slept. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophie got up. He gave her a bag full and sneaked one to pup. He blinked back a tear and he hugged his Sofia. For courage, he whispered, te amo mi vida. Sofia's knees wobbled, she felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and got and quite nearly cried. Though she didn't feel brave or courageous at all, Sofia Valdez went to face City Hall. The mayor's office sent her to room 401, the Blue River Creek Department of Fun, which sent her downstairs to room 302, the office of duck ponds and cool things to do, to the office of monkeys, the department of cheese, the division of fountains and meetings and bees, then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all of the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said, what no, one else said, you can't build a park, you're only a kid. The words met Sophia deep down in her heart. Her plan was kiboshed before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice couldn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly it cannot be done. Do you have a question? Sophia said, one. If you were me, and if I were you, and if he was your grandpa, what would you do? I well, said the clerk, and then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought, then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. The entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophia speak. But her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned bright red as a dozen emotions rushed to her head. 
Her heart beat so loud, so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. Then her arm brushed the edge of the old creaky sack. And at that was the moment when Sophia first knew. Being brave means doing one thing you must do. Though the heart cracked with fear, though you're just in grade two. She took a deep breath, looked at the mayor in the eye, and thought her knees wobbled. She held her chin high. Sophia started talking. She spelled out a plan and why it all mattered and how it began. And once she got rolling, she had lots to say about meetings and spots, monkeys and places to play, and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two and... All right, cried the mayor, go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, we'll form a commission. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pup and the clerk. Then others joined in, not all but a few, like, like Miss Lilla Greer and the kids in grade two. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, cranes, and blue bigger diggers. They all built that park, that's how it got done, with the hard work of, by, and for everyone. It, but it began with a dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold the truth to be self-evident that Sofia Valdez could grow up to be president. Until then, Sofia, the life, the real life go-getter, helps Blue River Creek get better and better.